Picture this, the world's fastest land mammal versus one of Africa's fastest human beings. Sounds like an indecent proposal? Maybe not. Meet 23-year-old Brian Habana. Habana runs the 100 meters in around 11 seconds. Meet two-and-a-half-year-old Satane, orphaned at birth after her mother was killed by poachers. She's been raised in captivity by the Deville Cheetah and Wildlife Trust, a conservation group actively involved in cheetah awareness programs in South Africa for the last 35 years. Just in case you're wondering, Satane goes from 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds with a top speed of 70 miles an hour. So, looking at the statistics between man and beast, Smart Money says the beast wins hands down. Brian Habana says it's more than just about going head to head with the big cat. It's not about me. Um, that's, that's the last thing. The cheetah is the most important thing at the moment, and I'm doing everything in my power that, that we get the focus truly on the conservation of the cheetah. Vanessa Bauer, who runs the Deville Cheetah and Wildlife Trust, says despite three decades of cheetah awareness, the animal is still under great threat. It's absolutely vital that we get to tell people that we are going to lose this beautiful creature and other creatures if we don't become aware of what um, the issues are that they face. Habitat loss, um, illegal trade, um, poaching, all those issues face the cheetah and they will disappear unless we put in place intelligent, realistic, pragmatic conservation plans. Back at the racetrack, many of the spectators must be asking, how does one train a predator to run against its potential prey? The answer? Use a stunt team from Hollywood. Seen here tying a piece of bait to the end of a long string and then waving it in front of Satane while still in her cage to let her know what she's running after. Meanwhile, Brian Habana has been given a 35-yard head start just in case things go wrong. And all along the track are trained game wardens to ward off the cheetah should she suddenly veer off course. And they're off. But just as quickly, the race is over. And it's a close one. Closer than most here expected. In slow motion, it's almost a photo finish. But before experts start rewriting the record books, Habana says he's willing to run again to set the record straight. Cetane, too, doesn't seem to mind. In the second round, Cetane wins, but Habana isn't far behind. And afterwards, he's just glad things went according to plan. And like I said, I was very happy to see the cheetah pass me because then I know he wasn't looking at my rump. He was rather looking at the rump going in front of me. Um, but it was good, I think. You know, but at the end of the day, the focus wasn't about the race. Wildlife conservationists and the folks at the Guinness Book of World Records may be heaving a sigh of relief knowing that the cheetah is still the fastest blind mammal. But in the race against well, time... I would like to say that I wish it was not quite as close as that. But it leaves us with a question. Man, going to win or cheetah? Jeff Koinenge, CNN, Hard to Be Sport, South Africa.